Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to start making a game mode script I guess for the uh, FPS game that we've been making for the past 60 episodes. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new C Sharp script that's going to be called Game Controller. And yes, you guessed it, it's going to be on our Game Controller, Game Object. And so I don't forget this later, I'll just drag it onto the Game Controller right now like that and let's start making some sense out of this right so what I was thinking is maybe have a, a UI element that will show us a, a score and the score will increase every time we kill a zombie seems pretty simple and easy we'll, we'll have a float for current score that will be zero and for now we will not create a high score but we can go to void start and make sure that current score is zero whenever we start the game. I also want to create a new private function, private void, call it add score, and then we're going to give it a float amount here. So if we want to call this function, this is how it will look. We go add score, and then in here we'll give it a amount of score, like this. All right. So what we want to do is go current score plus equals um, the amount. So whatever we input here is going to go here and it's going to get added on to, the, to our current score. Now what we want to do is actually make this public because we need to call it in some other functions. The easiest way to use this function is just to call it whenever the enemy dies and lucky for us we already have a character stat script that has the die method. Um, if we take a look it's a public virtual void die. Now, the same thing that we did with the player, we need to create a enemy stat script that derives from the character stats because changing it here will also change it for the player if that makes sense. So I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and create a new enemy stat script and then I'll just open it up, go right here and uh, say public override void die and if we take a look that shouldn't work because it's still deriving from under behavior we need to tell it to derive from character stats and now um, we can override this method also what I want to do is go ahead and create a new game controller game controller uh, variable so that is the variable for our game controller script that we just created and that uh, script has our add score method that's why we need it and now in the in private void start, we'll just go ahead and say game controller equals to. Now this is not optimized at all, but as I said in the previous videos, we're going to create a system that will be much more optimized later. I'll go uh, game object dot find game object with tag game controller dot get component and then we'll get the game controller component from it. All we did here is just gone ahead and uh, took our game controller game object be because he has the tag game controller. And then we went ahead and got a game controller component from it. In here we're going to go game controller dot add score and you can see that we need to give it a amount so I'll just go ahead and create a new um, private void or private float sorry that will be called score add amount and I'll give it like a 10 which is pretty good if you want to create more types of zombies maybe or enemies that will give off uh, different amounts of uh, score then you can uh, make that serializable and then change that or something like that I'll give it here the score add amount so whenever he dies or whenever his health, or let me just take a look, uh, whenever his health uh, reaches zero, we should go ahead and say die. Let me just change that. So if we go to our character stat script, we should go ahead and say if current health is less or equal to zero, then we'll just call the die method. Like that. And that's in our character stat script and then go to our enemy and remove the character stat script and give it the enemy stat script like that 
One thing left to do in here is to go ahead and say max health in our enemy script or enemy stat script max health equals to 100 and then current health equals to max health and same thing for the stamina so max stamina equals to 100 and then current stamina equals to uh, max stamina. This will make sure that whenever we start the game our uh, current health is 100 and our current stamina is 100. And also one more quick thing, whenever we die right here, we want to go ahead and say game object um, dot uh, destroy, or sorry, not that, we'll go destroy and then give it the game object, just to make sure that whenever health is zero or the enemy's health is zero, then we destroy the game object. A simple problem that we have here is uh, our enemy is not dying. So I'll just go private void update just to make sure that this works and I will go ahead and say check health each frame. So check health, uh, make sure that our health is zero and close the die method also. So this will actually not be in the game, this is just to test if this all works or if everything here works. So if we go ahead and uh, play the game right now and you can see if we go to the enemy, set is health to zero should die so the game object is removed and our game controller current score is 10. In the future episodes we're going to be polishing this and also making sure, making sure that we have the proper UI for this and also uh, this is kind of our game mode script so in here we're going to set the difficulty of the spawning enemy uh, spawning the enemies and uh, so on. Hopefully this helped you if it did be sure to leave a like comment down below subscribe that's always very helpful and you can go follow me on social media, there's links to that in the description. Go tell your friends about this, maybe they need help with this or um, I don't know. So uh, hopefully I'll see you next time, bye bye.